Good evening, this your man Earl, late on Wednesday, February 5th, day 36, and we are set to release our GoFundMe on our Facebook page tomorrow. We've been working diligently on raising funds, putting together uh, construction teams, putting together cleaning teams, putting together all different types of things. Uh, we've been going through inventory. We have been assessing uh, damage, and it's been a very tedious process. And tomorrow we're going to be releasing uh, the GoFundMe on our Facebook page. As you guys well know, it's on our YouTube page. But tomorrow we're going to be releasing it on our Facebook page. And so uh, be praying for us. Be thinking about us. And obviously, if you want to give to us directly, you can go to our cash app, which is the Fig Tree Bookstores. Our GoFundMe is the Fig Tree Bookstores Fire. If you're just tuning in, we've been talking about the last two days. What happens and how do you handle when things fall apart? That's Monday, Tuesday. Today, I'm going to tell you, people have asked me, uh, I've gone through a lot of challenges in my life, personally, as well as business, people stealing from me, uh, bad decisions I've made relationship-wise, as well as business-wise, uh, giving, and nothing wrong with giving, uh, but you should not give to your own uh, detriment. Nevertheless, how do you keep going in the face of things falling apart? And that has been the question I've been asked to ask uh, really since Sunday and did a video on it uh, Monday, Tuesday. So I'm going to give you the answer. One answer. One word, one answer. You must have what's called resilience. And resilience is this. This is just a textbook Webster's definition of resilience. And I like this. Okay. Resilience is your capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, your level of toughness. I like this one. The ability of a individual or substance or business or object to spring back into shape, a.k.a. how elastic are you? How flexible are you? That's resilience. So you must develop resilience in every area of your life, personally, emotionally, physically, financially okay you must develop resilience it doesn't come like that you must be around people who have resilience you must observe resilience and you must kick in your own level of resilience I'll give you another one resilience is the ability to know how to handle and cope with tremendous pressure stress difficulties failures Okay, a.k.a. setbacks, a.k.a. when people outright block you, put up a fence or barrier, and then how to move forward, I like this one, with extremely scarce or limited resources. You must develop resilience. It's a measure, really, of how much you want something and what you are willing to endure suffer and what you're able to overcome whatever obstacles lays out in front of you to get it largely has to do with your spiritual and emotional mental and spiritual strength okay that's the answer when things fall apart how do you what's your response how resilient are you look at listen to this go back on it this is going to be probably one of the highlights so far of this year how do you deal with when things fall apart? You must have resilience. And guess what? There's a lot of people who, 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 who call themselves tough, but they're not resilient. Why? Because they can't handle anything. So what do they do? They resort to violence or they resort to smoking, drinking within excess. I'm not talking about what's legal now in Illinois because we all know the green leaf, the cannabis, cannabis now is legal in Illinois. So now all of a sudden it's cool to smoke. It's not cool to smoke. Anytime you do something to your own detriment, you should stop. It includes eating, sugar, and all the above. Okay? Resilience. What can you handle? Okay? A lot of people push eject right when things get uh, uncomfortable. 
Okay? That's the answer. How do you do? What do you do when things fall apart? One word. Do you have resilience? Do you have resilience? The ability to endure your capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Divorce? How resilient are you? Lose everything? How resilient are you? Bad business deal? How resilient are you? Somebody cheat on you? Somebody steal from you? How resilient are you? Things don't go well at church? How resilient are you? Things don't go well in your family? How resilient are you? You make a bad decision. How resilient are you? You must have resilience. This is your man Earl. Day 36. Wednesday. Late night. How resilient are you? God bless.